Assalamu alaikum guys this is Salman here with a new video on my channel Comtrix uh, today's my video is about how to configure uh, 4G modem or you can say LTE Wingle uh, today's my device which I'm going to configure it is from uh, Huawei so this is basically LTE Wingle its model is Huawei E8372 uh, I have tested this device it works very nice uh, good speed stable connection and uh, very nice uh, browsing and uh, you can say um, video plus uh, streaming this is basically a usb wingle uh, it also supports uh, wi-fi so we have to configure all and each and everything uh, sometimes when you insert the sim card then automatically it will get uh, settings from uh, network operator or your uh, service provider so the thing is that you have to insert the sim and it also supports the sd card option in case if you want to share your files across your network or wi-fi connected devices which are connected to this uh, mingles wi-fi so then you can also share files with them that are stored on your sd card so let's configure this device so first of all we have to uh, insert this device in our usb port for initial setup we can do uh, two things uh, first of all we have to con uh, connect this device to the usb port of our computer then automatically it will show you login page or you can say the uh, the device uh, configuration page so uh, the other option is that you can plug in any power source or you can say the power adapter so this device will power on and this have default uh, SSID and the password so then you can connect to this device by using your computer's Wi-Fi connection then you can make the configuration my recommendation is to just uh, connect this device with your computer's USB port so then it will be much more easier to configure it and it will automatically show you the pop-up of uh, login page uh, or the device page so let's see let's go through it and let's configure it the default page it will show uh, regarding the network connection of your uh, sim card so here i have not inserted any sim card so it's not showing any kind of signal so it's showing the message to insert sim card so we will go to the home page uh, because we want to make some settings so let's go there and home page there are a lot of things that you can go through uh, this this is you can say a kind of a dashboard there is a home menu statistics menu SMS update setting more etc each and everything so it will show you current connection speed and duration of your current connection uh, it will also show you the Wi-Fi status of this device and uh, also the number of devices connected so this is a page so right now it's showing no service because i have not inserted any kind of sim card in this device so here is one more thing is here the sharing uh, if you have inserted your sd card in this device then it will show you sd files as well in case if you want to share okay let's move to next tab which is for the statistics so whenever we are going to open any other page uh, other than this uh, home page it will ask you to enter your username and password to log in into this device so here is this statistics page it shows all the things regarding this device connectivity this is about the statistics of your connection how much is the usage how much is the duration and definitely the connected devices the blacklist devices you can define each and everything here the interesting thing is that you can also set the data plan so it will show you the you can say the estimated usage of uh, your data connection your internet usage or browsing whatever you can say so when you open this it will show you the start date and the monthly data plan like how much GB you are going to use or how much is your data plan for example you are using 5 GB 200 GB 300 GB and then you can define all the parameters here and you can define the starting date your uh, data plan and the threshold which 
it will show you the uh, like you can see the notification it will show you the notification at which uh, there will be a pop-up page so then you can uh, have idea like what is your actual user but again the thing is that this air usage is not 100% uh, accurate but the thing is that uh, you should double check your uh, internet service provider how much uh, data you have used if you click the SMS uh, tab on then it will show you again the no sim card option uh, no sim card page because there is no sim card inserted so it works when there is a sim card if you click update the same thing happens here it will again show you the no sim no sim card the main thing is setting so in the setting there is each and everything which you can define to configure your uh, uh, device this uh, LTE modem wingle and uh, here is the network profile this is the internet profile which you can use uh, so if we click the next then it will show you the Wi-Fi name and uh, password here you can set up your uh, Winkles SSID and uh, password as well this is you can see the very easiest way to uh, configure this uh, device uh, in dial-up option it will not show you anything it will again uh, go to no sim card because uh, you know these things works only if the sim card is uh, available profile management profile you can define without inserting sim so here i have defined already one profile for the zong and you can define any profile uh, in case if you want to modify if you want to uh, create new one so it's up to you the next setting in our uh, settings tab is Wi-Fi WLAN so it displays all the parameters regarding the Wi-Fi so you can enable or disable the SSID security board pre-shared key means in simple words the password SSID broadcast SSID broadcast is the thing uh, in case if you don't want to show your uh, Wi-Fi signals to the um, to other people so then it will uh, hide the signals then the thing is that you have to manually uh, add your Wi-Fi in your phone or laptop whatever device you have advanced setting uh, this is for changing your country or region channel and the Wi-Fi bandwidth next is the Wi-Fi Mac filter WLAN Mac filter right now it is disabled because uh, I'm not going to uh, enter any MAC address here because uh, if you click allow then it will allow the devices to connect only which are entered here so the thing is that you need to go to uh, the uh, setting of your phone or laptop and then you have to get the MAC address then you can connect your uh, device here and if you deny then the entered MAC address device will not be allowed to connect to this angle so this is the you can say the simplest thing here WPS setting you can define here or you can enable or disable this is up to you and the DHCP this is the IP range basically which we are getting when we are connecting to uh, this finger so this IP range starts from 192.168 uh, 100 to 200 uh, so the first IP address will be 192.168.8.100 and the last IP address will be 192.168.8.200 and the IP address of this device is 192.168.8.1 so this is the IP address of this uh, device so we can disable this as well uh, it's up to us in case if we have any other DHCP server then definitely we can disable this uh, DHCP server and in case if you want to use your static IP addresses then it's also possible uh, you can use uh, you can disable this device this is the least time right now this is 86,400 seconds so this is the least time this is the time for which this IP uh, address is reserved to the client uh, uh, device which okay the next thing is security from security you can define the pin pin is basically for the sim card but right now there is no sim card so it will again show you the no sim card message and we will go to again back to setting firewall uh, the firewall option uh, 
this works basically little bit uh, but better you should keep your antivirus and firewalls uh, active uh, other than this because these firewalls are just uh, basic kind of things so i recommend you to keep your firewalls other than this this is lan ip filter basically this is for to allow or deny uh, the any particular ip address for any particular port so then we can define it here if we want to block uh, any ip address to access any other ip address outside our network mean over the internet then we can define it here including port as well so it also allows you to select the tcp utp uh, protocol as well and status is also on and off this is up to you whatever you want the virtual server virtual server uh, you can configure it if you want to uh, your uh, internal resources to be accessed uh, by external devices or computers then you can define it here you have to name it just name anything the wan port and lan ip address and the lan port so what it will do it will allow external devices to connect your internal devices so in case if you you have some files your servers connected with this device and you want to access that device from uh, outside uh, or from internet then this is suitable special applications these applications are you can say just like uh, uh, game video conferencing ip phone then these kind of things uh, this is up to the requirement if we need then definitely we can configure it dmz setting definitely this is very interesting feature of this device i was not expecting this device to have this feature so dmz settings you can define any ip address of uh, lan so then it will forward all each and every traffic to this uh, particular ip address so be careful about configuring these things net setting uh, is also uh, editable so if you want to define your net uh, uh, like if you want to uh, port forwarding or do any other things then you can definitely de define this thing system in system there is a device information which is including the device name ime uh, ei number your number hardware version software version web interface other each and everything and here is the password if you want to change your password you have to provide the current password new password and definitely new password should be little bit strong you can also restore to default your uh, device if it's not working fine or you want to just uh, reset the device reboot option reboot option is just to reboot the device and the next tab is for the sharing in more there is sharing option sharing option is for in case if you have inserted your uh, sd card then you can it will show you all the files here then you can configure the sharing options and app management you can scan the qr code and you can uh, install this uh, device uh, this uh, wingles uh, application on your phone so then you can keep track of your usage and there is a download link also in case if you want to download the app and thanks for watching my video so don't forget to subscribe like and click the bell icon